Today at CZ Custom, we're going to show you how to use our RDS optic screw jig plate to help you set your screws to the right length and when you put it all together, everything where it needs to be without actually pushing on the plate up against the slide. All right, today for this uh, demonstration on how to use our optic screw jig, we're going to go ahead and mount ourselves a uh, brand new scope onto our CZC AO1SD. This is our optic. RDS cut. It currently has an RMR plate in it, which is the bright plate you need for our Hollow Sun 507 we're gonna install. Here's our Hollow Sun. So we'll start by opening this up. Pull out our optic. All the fun accessories they send with it. Set that over there. And they send you with a nice little tube wrench and all your screws. They send it with two different length screws. We'll set those right there. These other ones are actually too short. So you want to use the longer screws. The two shorter screws will only have about two threads that engage in our RDS plate. And we want as many threads in there as possible. So we're going to use the longer screws. We're just going to trim them down. And we have our own torque driver, so we'll get that in there. Yeah. Here's our screw jig, part number 10673. The jig comes with multiple thread pitches on there. We have 540, 632, 648, 832, M4, and M3. And these are all the threads that we've found on the various red dot scopes available today. So we're going to grab our longer screws set the bag off to the side here a little bit our optic and these are 632 screws so what we're going to do is line up our 632 hole with one of the holes in our scope, put our screw in, might have to actually flip it over, watch where the hole alignment is. Now you want to tighten this down onto this jig the same amount of torque so you know how far it sticks out. To verify torque, we use our little torque gauge. We set it to 15 inch pounds. And do it until it does the little click. There we go. Now we know we're gonna be tightened down into the jig as much as we would be tightening it down onto the gun. So you'll see how far out it sticks past the jig. If we were to screw this just directly into the RDS plate like this, this would end up pushing against the slide, effectively bowing up the RDS plate and just make it where it's just not a good install. It won't stay zeroed, it won't stay tight in the gun. So what we wanna do now is trim this screw to the depth of the plate. This plate's been cut slightly thinner than our RDS plates. That way, when you cut this down, you know you can comfortably screw that directly into here to this torque setting and not have to worry about it actually engaging the slide at all. So, for uh, cutting it down, you can use a regular file. If you wanna continue to reuse your plate, you wanna use a file and a hone possibly. If you're only gonna use it once, you can grind that down with a Dremel or belt sander or you know whatever you're comfortable with. So I've already went ahead and trimmed a couple of screws down so I can show you what they look like once they're uh, trimmed down. So let me take this one back out and put in one of the trimmed ones. That way we all know what it's supposed to look like once it's all trimmed up. So you see the screw itself, we left a little bit shiny on there. 
A little bit of shiny won't hurt anything. A little bit of raw metal. If I'm to flip it over and realign it. torque it again you always want to make sure you do everything as if it's gonna be would be on the gun and there we go and actually it is just a little proud so let's take our file and we'll file it down until there's nothing sticking up beyond the plate Now this little bit of filing grease that comes out of here should really be blown off if you have an air hose or just give it a good solid blow with your breath just to make sure that none of this file leftover stuff gets into your scope or into your gun. But let's see, now we're really flush and that's what we want. We wanna make sure that nothing's gonna to be touching that slide. So let's pull this one out. We'll check the other one I pre-cut also, just to make sure that it's all the way down. Set this screw right over here. And we'll put this screw in. This is the one, other one I pre-cut. I'm going to go ahead and show you how you should... Uh, Go ahead and mount this to your pistol. There we go. For some reason I couldn't see that at all. I had my lighting just wrong. Okay, screw back in all the way. Yep, yeah, this one's a little proud also. Put that in our torque driver. see this just right where it's just a little proud I can bring the file along and show you how it hits and stops that we don't want no oh, let's file this one down also not the most exciting thing to filing I'm sure it's not the most exciting thing to watch the nice thing about it is though it is the a nice efficient way to get these screws to the right level without causing a big old mess and damaging the screw jig. When you can feel it when it goes from actually cutting the screw itself to when it's actually running over the entire plate, because the screw sticking up there will give a point of resistance as it wants to cut that first because it's taller. And once you get down where it's past it, it'll kind of want to skate over the top of the jig. I think we're just about there. Yeah, now you can feel it, how it's just kind of skirting over the whole thing. And if we take our file along there, or some other form of straight edge, we get no contact. That's what we need my air hose okay I'm going to take this screw back out now these screws come from hollow sun with their own thread locker that would be the blue stuff that's on the screw and it works pretty good you know, but we'll make another video all about Loctite in the meantime let's go ahead and mount this because this one already has Loctite in the screws. So, mount our red dot on our plate. Make sure it's on its bosses. The screws line up. Put that screw in there. And just bring it down to slightly snug, because we want to try and snug them both around the same time. Okay, 
And we're, like I said, just gonna snug them with this. And then we're gonna switch to our torque driver. Now that we're torquing them at 15 inch pounds, just, just to remind you again, we found that's the best torque to keep them staying on there tight without damaging anything. And there you go. One hollow sun 507C installed in our AO1 SD. Now we just gotta go have fun shooting.